Hello guys, I'm Sean the Bro, and I know it's been a while, but I'm back and I'm here with something really exciting. People have been asking for a quick little build of a Super Smash Bros. game. This isn't going to be everything that you want it to be, but I'm going to let you expand on it. I've done a pretty good amount of coding here, um, and the thing is that I had a game from someone, I couldn't find it again, because I don't know what the original name was. And it was this basic idea, so I started working on this a little bit using almost, uh, yeah, almost the same idea. I actually did do a lot of the code, drag and drop the same, so he's got credit in the game information because I do have his name, but I don't know what the game was originally called to show you. So thank you for that, um, but I did all the sprite work and everything, so... Uh, and I did do, I did add a decent amount of my own code, um, more than half of it's my own, but I'm just saying the base was his, uh, so I am not taking full credit for this, I've already, well, I sent him a message, um, and I didn't get a response, but he said that you could use it as long as you gave him credit, so it's not like I'm taking his stuff. Anyway, I just want to throw that out there, wanted to make sure he got his credit like he deserved. And then I'll show you uh, what he did and then what I did. So anyway, basic sprites. Uh, I don't even need to do all that. So it's just, it's uh, I have a gray ball and a red ball. This one's angry, that's the enemy. And then you've got the ground, which I modified the mask. So it's smaller than this, so you sink in a little bit. But you know what, I'm going to do a little bit more. Um, I'm going to do it like that. And you'll see why in a second. And then I have the bullet, which is I the, these uh, only have a projectile, but it works with melee. There's no change. Um, uh, well, we'll talk about that when we get there. So, object player one. Now I'm gonna have a link to this to download this. So don't worry about any of that. Um, don't worry about much of this right now. But you can ask me if you have any questions. Basically, this does player one. It just controls speed, movement, gravity. He did up until here. He did all the basic controls. So this just does, like I said, basic stuff. Not like it's bad, but it does gravity and if you get hit. But this this part's important. This is perhaps the most important part of a Super Smash Brothers game. So the damage modifier, right? So you do collision with... I only had the bullet right now. Collision with bullet sets variable damage to 1. Um, and relative is checked. Uh, honestly, I don't know what it does in this situation. I know what relative does elsewhere, but um, for damage, I'm not quite sure. So I would just leave it checked because he did this, like I said. And this is why I was using this build. That's why I started off with this build. Um, but it absolutely works and I can understand it. So anyway, what it does is it throws you in a direction. Um, in all directions and it multiplies your damage by two so whatever you had multiplies it by two and once this alarm goes off it does this once you're done moving um, the alarm goes off and you know it sends you moving as we saw in the last one then anyway your damage is multiplied by three see so however long it takes for that anyway um, then he does basic control Okay, then I did this stuff. This, uh, if you go outside the room, it's really basic, but if you go outside the room, you die, and obviously, as you keep getting hit by more bullets, you get shot away farther and farther until eventually you go off the screen and die. So this is important, this damage modifier, and then once you're outside the room, it jumps you back to the start position, and then you lose a life. It's as simple as that. Player 2 is basically the same, but with a lot less. It's got all this basic stuff that he did, which is great, and then I added these two things, and I gave you two little comments, um, I didn't give comments on his stuff, but the, uh, I'll go over this one for you, because this one is confusing, the other ones are the same, so you can figure it out from this guy, no problem, but, uh, the enemy step event, it's not difficult, but, uh, I did a little bit of editing on this, but most of this is his, as I said, so... Um, I actually had to add the ground and the bullet on this one. It was gone. I'm not sure if it was just a older build or whatever. So I did these as well. But okay. Anyway, um, 
the step event in the enemy. Uh, it it's if his position is good, you know, if he's all good, gravity's affecting him and everything. And okay, here we go. So let's start this. So this is checking if player one x is smaller than his x. So this determines whether he should go left or right or attack left or right. And then if it is, he sh he does. He's uh, with a chance. Just the size is like one in thirty. Uh, let's see, one in six, one in thirty. So these these determine what move he's gonna do or what he's gonna do. So say he goes speed this direction, speed this direction, or possibly create a bullet. So possibly attack you. And then this is uh, um. I think he has not checked. Let me make sure. So yeah. Um. Honestly, I don't know. It works fine. I'm not sure if this one's supposed to be like that. This might supposed to be larger than. Uh, I'll I'll fix that once we test it. I was playing it and it was fine, but now I'm looking at that and that doesn't look. Um, like it should be right because these are all the same thing, just a little bit altered. Um, in terms of direction, so I think that's wrong, but I'll check that really fast after. And then this one is if it's equal to he moves to get he uh, moves to get out of the same spot that you are in. And then this is for the Y, so if he's above you. And then this is if lo if his lines are equal to zero, it uh, displays the message. I'm gonna change this really quick. Uh, sorry, I can't type apparently. Um, and I'm actually gonna change this message. Sorry, dude. Um, where would that be in here? Well, I you think it'd be in the step, but I guess it's. Uh, oh wait, no more lives. I forgot Game Maker had this. Totally forgot about that, which is sad, because that's fantastic. Okay, player two one. Why can't I? Oh, sorry, I'm typing on an angle, but I'm messing up badly. Okay, anyway, and then this stuff doesn't really need code. Just make sure your ground is solid. And then object one, you know, object bullet one, bullet two. Uh, he fires bullet two. I use the same sprite, but it's doing the same task, really. And then I just made a room. I called it test. I didn't give it any specific name, and I just set up a tiny, tiny little battleground. You can fly off the sides or fall out the bottom. But, uh, and I have a little floating platform for you if you want it. Uh, let's let's test. Uh, let's see if he shoots. Uh, he actually does shoot the right direction, right? No, he doesn't shoot this way. Yep. Okay, that code's a little bit messed up. Uh, that's why he's running to the left the whole time instead of shooting. I actually stayed on the left side of him the whole time, so I never had that problem. But I'm gonna fix that for you guys right now. Um, so yeah, this one should not be smaller than. This one should be larger than. Right. That was the second one. Yep. So now the game should be good. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, he's going to fire a lot. All you do to change that is change um, his... See, now he's actually coming with me. And he does random stuff just like they do in the game, but he falls off. Um, if you want to stop him from falling off, that's a lot harder. How I would do it, honestly, would be... Oh, I would check check how far his X is with those variables. Definitely learn how to do the variables, they're extremely important. But see, I modified the mask so it looks like you're in the grass. Um, anyway, shoot him, see how he jumps higher every time you hit him? He fell off that time. But uh, let me show you again. So you're shooting him, he goes a little high, uh, I didn't actually hit him, you shoot him, he goes a little higher. Uh, he's a little bit of a, of a pain. I'm gonna actually probably, I might change his speed a little bit. I can show you this. Um, well, no, because that's a lot to change. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I'll let you mess with that. Uh, but anyway, look. So uh, I'll just go over here and show you. So you shoot him. He does a little. He gets launched into the air. You shoot him again. He gets launched higher. Um, hold on. It's a little rough, a uh, little bit higher. Uh, come on, 
I can't hit him, that's all. There we go. Higher, higher, higher. <laughs> He's not supposed to go that high. Um, but yeah, he does little jumps. It's just really difficult to hit him. But see how he gets higher? That's his damage modifier going up, just like in the game. Um, so what you would do for that would just, if you had a little uh, meter at the bottom of the screen, you could do a percent every time you got hit when it got multiplied. Just multiply the number at the bottom. It's actually pretty easy to do that. Uh, but this was done in just a couple of minutes, honestly. Uh, probably about an hour or so. Uh, everything's pretty basic. But this is a basic build, and honestly, it works perfectly. I mean, of course, there's bugs in terms of, like, he... I don't even really call it a bug. But, like, he just jumps to his death, you know? That's, that's a mistake, obviously. Um, but, I mean... Those are things. This is a just really basic build. You can go under this. The hit detection is actually pretty good, regardless of the fact that it's hard to hit him. Um, the only issue is that if you're holding a direction and you get hit up against the wall, you stay there because of the colliding boxes since it's round. Uh, you don't have to change this. It'll throw off the hitbox. But I'll show you really quickly how to do that. You would just make manual. And then you can either mess with this or simply make the box to a rectangle shape. And it won't mess it up anymore. I mean, that might not be straight, so we might still get stuck. Um, but if it is straight, we should be fine. I'll show you why. Um, so you jump a little high. I'm trying to... There we go. So, yeah, it's not perfectly straight because we still get stuck. But see how you can actually go through it with that and you're not worried about getting stuck the whole time? You have to really try. Like, if you fall now, watch. Sorry. If you fall now, you don't get stuck on it. Before, if you fell, even if you were just pressing the opposite direction, but you fell on top of it, uh, you would get stuck. That box just makes it so it shows what gets hit, but if it's the same shape, they won't really get stuck because obviously you're not colliding uh, so I am not going to leave it like that because I personally like the other way um, and I'll show you one more fix for that so just where the gravity is um, you're checking if you're if it's free like if the place is empty and then it also if it gets a click uh, collision with Y so that means if it's already on the ground the way to fix it getting stuck without changing the box would just be putting an else here basically you could do um, outside this end block and before this if there is a collision put an else and also set the gravity so even if it's not free be setting the gravity um, and make but make sure you leave the other code I did not want to bring that up make sure you leave this code because then if you hit the ground, you're still going down. Or sorry, you stop going down. But here if it's empty below you, then you are still, then you go down until you hit the ground and land on the ground. That should work, again, because of the circle, it might not, it might be a little glitchy, but I'll be willing to actually test things out and help you any, any, uh, chance you need so anyway I'm gonna put this in the description with the upload I'm gonna have an upload link I promise it's safe I don't click on anything else on the site <laughs> not sure which one I'm gonna use it might be media fire or something but I'm saying don't click on anything else on the site because you never know what ads or anything or do obviously but I promise the link will be safe uh, there's no reason there's no reason for uh, you not to do this if you want to make a Smash game. Uh, you can start from scratch, but those two people I wanted to help out especially. But there's been more than two. It's just these two have been within the last month, and I figured it was just time to do it. I'm going to email. Uh, no, I'll probably just leave a message because I don't have all your emails. I only have one or two of them out of the five people I think total asked. So I won't do that. Uh, I'll leave a message. I'll reply to your comments on my channel and then I'll give you the link to this video and this video has the link below as you see so anyway download it and have a blast with it if you need any help do not hesitate to ask I am back 
I'm ready to answer, ready to play, and I'm here. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please rate, comment, subscribe, and please enjoy this game. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you later. Goodbye. Good. Hi. Hello. Hey, what's up? Uh, Hi, Gray, Michael, Lindsay, Hi. some kind of order. Uh, you're watching Sean the Bro. You know, you know it's legit because he has a shirt and he has a phone case. You can't show yeah. the phone case because he's recording with me. I don't him, have a phone case. No. I got a, you should I got get a one, though. In fact, it's Sean is my bro. It doesn't say Sean the Bro, though. It's just no, black. It Loser. Check out Sean the Bro. Yeah. Or you're a bitch. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're a bitch. Thank you guys so much.